Hi, Cyprian here. Uh, in this video, I'll show you a very quick tip that is really useful if you want to post-process better your own scale model. So here's a very simple model. It's just a beam uh, that I modeled in, in 3D. And I apply the load on one side and I fix the other side. And what you're looking at now is the result of displacement in Z direction. And this is the stress. Now, what happens is that by default, on scale will will uh, give you the stress results at uh, center of each element. So there's no average uh, which is done. So if you want to do this kind of, of stuff, you may want to use um, Paraview, for example, to do this. So let me show you how you can export your data into Paraview VTU format and how you can, uh, you can do this kind of stuff in Paraview. So the first thing to do is to open the flxinp uh, command file of this uh, simulation. So even if you built your model in designer mode, you will get uh, this kind of script file uh, out of it. So just open this, this file, go at the end of the file, and this, when you see data, this is, uh, this is the command that basically tells the solver to print out results into um, into a file. So what you have to do is to add another uh, another type of data command, which will print out the results in the special Paraview format. So for that, data, then uh, just enter and tab, and file out, then you give it a name to the file. So I call it beam.vtu, uh, and then you give the format you want, so form, out and the the keyword for paraview is prvu par, like paraview prvu and then what do what do you want into this file and here you just put exactly the same thing that in your previous you out so i i want my z displacement that i calculated and i want my um, my stress in x uh, direction and end this comment then you save that you run again uh, your analysis, and then you'll get a new file. So let me open my browser. You get a file called beam.vtu, and then you can open this file into Paraview. So to open that in Paraview, the easiest way I found is to press the Shift key, right click, uh, and then, oh, sorry. Yeah, and you'll get um, open PowerShell window here. Okay, then you open a PowerShell. Uh, and if you have Paraview installed, so you need to install Paraview first on your computer, of course. Uh, you just tap Paraview, then you can press Tab, and it should autocomplete like Paraview.exe. And then you just give it the name of your file, beam.etu. Press Enter, and this should open Paraview. Yeah, it does. Um, and then here in, in the tree, you see you have your file open in the built-in option. So you click on Apply. Get your model on the screen here, and in the property arrays, you see the two type of results that I exported: the displacement and the stresses. So what? Let's see. Let's look at the stress, for example. So this, yeah, so this is the same thing I showed you in the previously in on scale uh, post processor. Now, how do you do an average of that? Well, you can use a filter in Paraview. So you have alphabetical. And you have a filter which is let me let me remember what uh, I think it's cell yeah this one cell data to points data just click that click apply and then look again at your stress result and now you see that the stress has been averaged in Paraview so this is of course only one type of example that all the things you can do with Paraview, so you, you can do much more than that. Um, and I hope that this video was useful for you. So thank you very much for watching, and if you have any question, if you have any, uh, any problem you'd like to solve, you don't know how to do, just leave a comment either on the blog or uh, on the video, on YouTube, whatever. Thank you for watching, and see you next, next time.